Hey guys, this is Mindy back with another Cup of Love, Cup of Wisdom. Let's get in here and do an energy check and see what's going on. Remember, this could be past, present, or future energy. Remember to take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Flip the signs and rules as needed. Keep in mind that this is a collective read, not a personal read. If you'd like a personal read, the details are in my description box for my channel. And you can also email me at aceofcup0 at yahoo.com. So we have secret and consume in the reverse. So I feel like someone's keeping a secret and with consume being in the reverse, I feel like maybe it's not a good secret to be um, holding on to. <clears throat> Someone is definitely keeping something under wraps. Um, what's going on? Whoa. That was weird. My screen just turned by itself. The camera just went all weird all of a sudden. Um, so we have someone, the Knight of Swords, someone who rushed in with some sort of lie. So someone was dishonest. So someone could be keeping a secret. They're being consumed with me. I'm hearing overwhelming guilt about a secret they're keeping. Um, they did this to stop someone from making some sort of finances or getting finances. This is someone was not who was not your Ten of Cups situation. So this could have been somebody that you were in a home with. Um, shared a family with. This is a queen of wands in the reverse. This is someone who is not a leader, someone who could have been in their hoe energy. Um, so someone who is not caring, um, compassionate, or empathetic. <coughs> um, somebody could have lost a significant amount of pentacles. With the ten of pentacles in the reverse, this person could have lied to take a significant amount of money or finances from somebody Wow, this could have been a boss too. Um, this could have been someone in a leadership position who was not a good leader. This caused you some sort of injury because they withheld a significant amount of money or resources. So someone could be holding a secret that they ripped you off at work. So this could be work-related. Someone that you were in a relationship um, could have rushed in with some sort of lie to, to an employer of yours. And um, I don't know. This uh, Obviously, they're not a very good employer. Or they're not a good leader if they withheld money from you. Um, somebody was a gold digger as well. And this was a karmic love situation. So there was a gold digger here who ran their mouth to someone who could have been your boss or supervisor. Um, some sort of swift action is being taken some, because there was some sort of communication. You're going to be moving on to come or water. Somebody wants to come forward with some sort of message. You could be getting some sort of message or communication that's going to help you move on to come or water. Somebody could want to make the situation right. <clears throat> this could be the Queen of Wands in reverse who is feeling bad about what they did. They celebrated with someone else. So this gold digger energy, and this can be a masculine and a little bitch energy too. Don't get too caught up on the gender of things. Um, but we have two feminine energies here. The king or the queen of um, <clears throat> wands and the queen of pentacles. And there's a gold digger here who maybe wanted to be with, um, I mean, I just got to say it. Maybe it was your supervisor or boss or someone who had a leadership position. <clears throat> This could have been someone who, like, I hate to say it, but sleeps their way to the top kind of thing. And something that they did, it could have costed you a lot of money. This could have been in the form of, like, a divorce or separation. Somebody lost um, a significant amount of money, their financial stability, um, because of some action that somebody else took. Somebody wants to offer you some sort of flowers, whoever this message is for, or you want to offer flowers to somebody else. Somebody is going to be coming out of the wilderness here. So somebody is coming out of the cold. There's something shocking, um, possibly about a barrier that was placed in someone's path. Someone could be shocked to find out that someone could be in a state of poverty or lost a significant amount of resources because of something that an ex said or did. Someone's shocked about something. They could also be taking a moment to pause and reflect about something, reviewing some sort of information, and they're shocked about what they're finding. <clears throat> they're finding out because maybe somebody wanted to come towards you and offer you some flowers, and somebody was shit-talking you so somebody wouldn't come towards you. So this could have been an ex or somebody that was shit-talking you. Um, to people maybe that you worked with. 
That's cool. Hey, you know what's even cooler than a Triceratops? Every other dinosaur that ever existed. So somebody is not impressed. Somebody is not impressed with either the actions that somebody took or um, just the person in general. Like someone is just really... Um, I'm getting that someone's kind of pissed off. Someone's just like, wow, you just did the same thing that everybody else did um, to this person is what I'm hearing. So somebody could have kicked you when you were down. So you could have gone to someone for some sort of help or maybe you reached out to somebody or somebody reached out to other people that you know and was trash talking you to make them have a bad opinion about you. And... Um, we have a masculine and a feminine here in the reverse here. So somebody could have like gone to your HR department or talked shit about you or made some sort of allegation against you. This could have been a feminine um, coworker that you worked with that wanted your person that wanted that was jealous of your relationship. It was a karmic relationship. So it was meant to teach you a lesson. Somebody tried to ruin your happiness with your Ten of Cups. It's like someone's family stability got shook up by this. Even if you were not in a relationship with this person who did this, this could have been a jealous coworker, um, anybody. This could really be anybody, however it resonates for you. But whatever they did, whatever action they took, it caused a collapse of someone's Ten of Cups. Like somebody lost their family um, because of this. And money. So somebody lost a significant, like everything because of whatever these, this person did or whatever these people did. Well, I say it's better to be hurt by someone you know accidentally than a stranger on purpose. So somebody is acting like they were just doing their job. So this could have been like a jealous coworker or a supervisor who was jealous of your gifts and talents. Um, they could have made false allegations against you on the job. Like reported you to HR or something like that because they didn't want you to be seen as anything special or important. Um, you could have maybe done your job better than they do their job or something like that. This person is not a true leader. They're not caring and compassionate. This person is very competitive. It's like they place themselves in competitions with people. They're very immature. They shouldn't have been in the goddamn position to begin with. I mean, this person is pathetic they ruin someone's life with their bullshit and someone is getting eaten up with guilt yeah someone's career is frozen you know see that jello mold they they didn't gain anything from this so someone can't move forward in their career they thought that this would give them some sort of advantage in their career <coughs> by trying to keep you stuck you could have been blackballed or blacklisted because of this so maybe your career got stuck because of whatever this person did to you. Um, the worst thing you can do for your immune system is coddle it. They need to fight their own battles. And through concentration, I can raise and lower my cholesterol at will. So somebody did something intentionally to affect your health as well. Maybe you were sick or something. And... Um, Maybe somebody said you were faking it or exposed something about your medical records that should have been kept private. Um, so say if you were sick or something and maybe you got a doctor's note, you know, you get a doctor's summary, something like that. Maybe it says like what medications you're on or what it's for, whatever. Somebody took that information and did something really shady with it. And then they went to HR and said like you were a drug addict or something like that. that can't, that's been coming out over and over again. Are you trying to hurt my feelings? Because if so, you are succeeding. So someone's butt hurt. So someone is all up in their emotions and in their feelings because um, they think that they're better than you. They, they don't like um, that you can do something better than them. Um, so they did something as a way to get you out of the way, to get you um, out of your position so that they could be seen as the, you know, the person um, the person, this person's an attention whore. I mean, there's no other way around it. This person is an attention whore. So maybe it was the shitty ass supervisor that's being eaten up with guilt because they didn't believe you if you spoke out about something. Somebody could have talked shit about card reading. So maybe this person was a card reader. Maybe you're a card reader. Um, or somebody said something about you reading cards. Uh, maybe somebody made an allegation. I don't know how they could do that, how they could make an allegation against you using cards. <laughs> I mean, 
Uh, maybe somebody thought they had a, a hand to play um, is another way I can look at that is um, somebody thought they had like an ace up their sleeve or they had the winning hand. You know, someone could have been trying to play poker and they were bluffing something. So somebody could have been bluffing with the hand they were holding to get an, an advantage over somebody as well. Yeah, this person was very immature. <clears throat> so we have Mahaha. I guess it's not an evil idea. It's just a regular idea, but there's no good laugh for a regular idea. And then we have somebody who was acting very immature. Um, somebody who dicks around. They didn't do their job to begin with, but they were very jealous that, you know, you could have been getting attention. Um, you could have been getting kudos or props for a job well done. And this person couldn't stand it. This person could be younger than you, or they just acted younger than you and very immature. I'm going to have to take a drink of my coffee here. <clears throat> this person was very jealous. <clears throat> I'm getting that they're intimidated. And there was a supervisor who may have known this person, or, you know, the queen of wands in the reverse. This person may have known this um you know, gold digger, queen of pentacles in the reverse, um, you know, possibly for a long time. And so they took this person's word over yours if you reported something. Yeah, but someone's taking a moment to pause and reflect. You're going to receive a message or someone's getting some sort of message or communication. There could have also been an investigation done regarding these allegations. Um, and they're surrounding an emperor in the reverse. So um, this gold digging queen of pentacles... Or this Queen of Wands could have, you know, someone who was in their hoe energy, who was not a true leader, could have wanted your man. And so they talked shit about you, made reports about you. Um, you know, maybe your man brought you lunch at work or something. Maybe they worked where you worked. You know, maybe your coworkers or something. But this person, um, well, and the masculine's in the reverse, so they're a piece of shit too. So, um, but this person wanted your boo they wanted your man and so yeah here's lusty busty so lusty busty could be getting ate up with guilt because of what she did to ruin your life and your career and your family especially if she got knocked up by um this emperor i mean that doesn't have to be the case for everybody but in some cases you know um this masculine could have gotten her pregnant or something sleeping with um them and um, now they're, you know, all up in their feelings and emotions and feeling hormonal and they're feeling guilt for what they did. This person could be watching you. Someone's watching you and someone, yeah, someone was watching your union. So someone was watching you and your relationship and they were jealous of that. Uh, there could be a group of people banding together to support you, um... I'm seeing somebody could have started a petition or something or, you know, gathered up a group of people like in the workplace and they're like, hey, we know this person is not like that. This is ridiculous. <clears throat> Someone could be getting fired. They may have to be packing up their shit. They could have lost their job. So, you know, when you get terminated from a job, you see in the movies where they have to get a box and put all their shit in a box and, you know, carry it out to their car, get escorted out. That's what I'm seeing here. Someone could be having to pack up their office and, uh, you know, they don't have to have an office, but whatever belongings they have, someone's getting escorted out of a building. This was a bisexual, older feminine energy. So this person could have maybe wanted to join you and your boo. Uh, maybe they thought you could all have a little menage a trois action going on. <laughs> and that didn't happen because I feel, I mean... Maybe you're straight. Maybe you're, you know, bisexual. I don't know, but this person is. I feel like you don't share. So whoever this is, I feel like um, you didn't, you weren't interested in that. And this person slept with Lusty Busty. So this dude uh, slept with Lusty Busty anyway. You're going to be getting some sort of communication. Somebody wants something to change. There's going to be big changes that are coming. Somebody could want to um, jump in with something. Someone jumped into something without thinking about it. So someone jumped into this relationship, interfering in your relationship if you were with this person. Um, or maybe you just wanted to date them or something, but this person was jealous. They wanted, you know, whoever you were with. <clears throat> 
you're just minding your own business, relaxing. Um, there's a lot of talk going on because someone's being watched. They're watching you try to rebuild, move forward. So they're watching you move on with life. And they're like, oh, crap, this person didn't do any of the shit that they were accused of. Um, you see how they're rebuilding something out of nothing? So you could have moved on with your life and started something new. You could have changed careers altogether. You could have a platform that could be watching you on the Internet. But you have multiple people watching you, and someone's coming across your page, possibly that you worked with, and someone's like, whoa, 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 I thought you said this person moved away, I thought you said this, I thought you said that, I thought you said they were in bad health. That is way too many cards. And I'm free. Ah. Uh, so this feminine energy um, could have been supplying this masculine with drugs or offered him drugs. They could have shared in some sort of substances. So there's some drugs here. They could have accused you of being on drugs or substances, especially if this was your boss or supervisor who had a copy of like something of your medical records or your doctor visit or something. Um, they could have tried to set you up. Like if there was medications or something that came up missing at work, like say if you're a healthcare worker or you um, give out medications or something like that. This person could have actually tried to set you up to make it look like you stole some sort of drugs or prescriptions um, when it was actually them that did it as well. They could have tried to get you fired by doing that. And that is a huge, huge fucking deal. You cannot just go around stealing fucking medications. I mean, that is some dirty ass shit right there. I mean, there are serious legal ramifications for that shit. <clears throat> Dude, someone's trying to be emotionally manipulative and they, and a female got ghosted. So this female could have gotten ghosted um, after they went through all that trouble to take your person. They could have gotten ghosted by this person because they were tired of dealing with their bullshit. Um, they could have found out that they were a gold digger. Um, the Queen of Wands and the Queen of Pentacles could be the same person. Somebody was hiding their true personality and their true intentions. And now this person wants to come back to you after they chose Lusty Busty and the drugs and everything else after you, after they ruined your life. They're like, no, 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 no. I didn't mean that. So maybe it's not Lusty Busty. Well, you know what? I feel like Lusty Busty here, the Queen of Wands, actually does want to come tell you something. But the point is, is not to... Um, it's not because they feel guilty about it. It's because they're still emotionally manipulative and they want to hurt this masculine. So if they come and tell you the truth about something, they feel like it'll ruin the chances of you and this masculine energy hooking back up or hooking up to begin with. <coughs> but um, I feel like that ship has sailed anyway, so I feel like you're not interested. So they're kind of wasting their time if they're going to come trash talk this person to you because I feel like you're... You've already moved on from this situation. Yeah, you're relaxing. You're carefree. Someone could be trying to send a friend to come talk to you or communicate something to you. Um, they may be scared to come approach you directly, especially if you know what they did and you know who they are. They may be afraid you're going to whoop their ass, even if you're all love and light like me. Um, you know, <laughs> I don't want to say that you're still not afraid to smack a bitch. I mean, we try to control ourselves, you know, um, and you have to show some restraint. But um, someone may be sending their friend because they're scared to talk to you face to face. This person could have started avoiding you at work when they started screwing around with your dude or ma'am, whoever this is. I mean, this person's bisexual, so um, they like chicks and dudes. And that could have been another enticing aspect to... Um, what attracted the, this person who should have chose a divine femme or masculine over, you know, the karmic. But oh, someone is being gaslit. Someone needs up their spiritual protection because someone's trying to gaslight the shit out of you. You need to use your intuition. Separate the truth from the lies. You know, someone's throwing rocks and hiding hands. So someone's intentionally setting you up for some bullshit, trying to make you think that someone's all in your head. Um, if you were actually in a relationship with this masculine, they tried to make you think that everything was all in your head, that you're imagining things, that you're making things up. That was not the case. This person wanted to leave you confused. They're confused why you didn't believe their bullshit. 
um, how they didn't pull one over on you. Um, you knew they were multitasking. You could have left them because you knew they were dealing with somebody else. Or you could have just nipped it in the bud and not even let it get started. You know what I mean? Um, I'm going to take these cards for a spin. Mm. Wide. In the reverse. So somebody had their legs open wide. Ew, gross. Someone was easy, man. Someone was nasty. This is nasty shit right here. This person is easy peasy lemon squeezy. This person spreads for anything. This person really is not only an attention whore, but they are a whore. I'd like to help you out. Which way did you come in? Yeah, this person could have gotten ghosted because they were sleeping around. And, um, you know, after this person chose them over a divine femme or masculine, then uh, they got cheated on too, just like they cheated on you with this person. So, you know, karma's a bitch. Someone is not on cloud nine. Someone's not happy with how things turned out. Someone wants to come back acting all cute and sweet and innocent and bury the hatchet. Hey, let's just forget this ever happened. Um, you know, I just believed rumors. I, you know, I, I didn't mean to. I tripped and fell and landed up inside her shit, you know. Um, no. This person's stuck between a rock and a hard place, and now they have to eat their words. They wanted you stuck between a rock and a hard place. Someone's going to have to eat their words. And it could even be lusty busty. Someone's getting escorted out of a building here. Someone's getting fired. Um, the initials E, F, G, and H could be significant in the winter time in an Aquarius. There could be something significant about a Monday in November. <clears throat> then we have a Gemini in August. Yeah, there's a big storm coming. The perfect storm has been created for something major to happen for a divine femur masculine. Mm-hmm. There's like a big hurricane, a big tsunami. There's something really big that's about to happen. Um, somebody caused you to have a broken heart with the bleeding heart in the reverse. They were putting on a dog and pony show. This person was fake. They lied. Um, you're going to have money to burn. Someone owes you some money. Someone owes you some restitution. Like, even if it's from the job or something, somebody withheld a lot of money from you. They could have stopped you from getting promotions and everything. I mean, this person was ridiculous. Both of these people were. <coughs> yeah, someone's as poor as a church mouse. This could even be you because you could have lost everything because of what these people did. But you're the real deal. And someone's going to be going to court. You flew the coop. Something's as dead as a doornail. Ah, yeah. Okay, so the Ten of Pentacles, the person who lost the Ten of Pentacles, um, or caused you to lose the Ten of Pentacles, somebody fell for the low-hanging fruit. They lost a significant amount of money. So this could even be an emperor in reverse. You know, this could be a femme or masculine um, the karmic energy, they didn't go from rags to riches. They were tempted and they lost a significant amount of money uh, because they crossed the boundaries. They crossed the line. So someone got terminated because um, they were very unprofessional and unethical. So somebody did something really bad. <clears throat> somebody broke some like, I don't know, job code, ethic codes, business codes, something. Yeah, someone was not sharp as attack. Um, you're never looking back. Somebody wants you to forgive and forget something that they did in the fall, but this person's shady as fuck. Once again, a Gemini. They want to give you the kiss of death. I wouldn't fucking do mm -mm. I wouldn't do that if I were you. Uh, oh, Lusty Busty could be wanting to come give you the kiss of death here because they're going through trials and tribulations. So... Um, this younger person, if this person's younger than you, they're going to be hitting some trials and tribulations. You're going to get your happily ever after because you're just not dealing with any of this shit. You're over it. I feel like you've already moved on and started something new. Somebody could be getting a callback, though, and wanting um, you to come back and work there. But 
Maybe after this person gets terminated? I don't know. Shit, someone literally could have tried to give you the kiss of death. Somebody could have tried to unalive you. You're moving forward, though. Where something is done, something's over with the Miss Murder card. There's a final ending to something. Speak of the devil. Yeah, this devil energy is lusting and hungering after you. Uh, probably because they're broke. Yeah, someone wants to come back and say they're sorry. Tonight the world dies. Someone's going on a rampage. Someone's pissed at the world because of what happened. But they should really be pissed at, at themselves because they're the ones that created the soap opera as the world turns. Yeah, they're the ones that created this drama. And so, I mean, this person could be a mama's boy. Someone could be a mama's boy, mama's girl, whatever. You're going to be celebrating. Someone's going to be celebrating here. Someone may admit something was their fault. This could be lusty busty here. I feel like the masculine's not going to admit to shit. They're going to play the victim. Oh, wait. No, someone's not going to admit fault. They're going to play the victim. So, someone's not going to be saying they're sorry. Someone's going to say that something could be your fault because they're playing the victim. Um, I didn't mean to. They were the ones showing their ass. You know, I just, I was tempted, blah, blah, blah. All right, well then call them to bail you out of jail because ball and chain is in the reverse. Someone could be binded to this person. I told you someone could have gotten pregnant or something. Um, yeah, their mistress. Some Someone's bound to their mistress now. They sure as hell weren't stronger than you. Um, yeah, they're not lucky and they have to face the, you know, the truth about the evil deeds that they did. Something came crashing down with a wrecking ball. Something is over, over. Let's pull a few letters here. Person, place, or thing could be significant. I. I did have to cut the end of my one video off because I started running my mouth when I started pulling letters and, um. Spirit told me I had to edit that out. I didn't have to delete the whole video, but I started running my mouth too much at the end, and um, so I had to cut that part off. A, <clears throat> so technology, AI could be significant. Artificial intelligence, um, AIG, so G. P, so page, someone's name could be page. V. I. B. E. Three eyes. So three people could be watching you. <clears throat> and another G. So I have P, A, three I's, two G's, E, B, and V. I hope this helps. Have a good day.